Hey friend, welcome to Our Gray House. I'm Lisa, your go-to gal for all things crafty DIYs and watercolor painting. And today I'm excited to share with you some fall themed DIYs that are easy to make and they're affordable. And the great thing about it is I'll show you step-by-step -step how to do it so you can add some autumn vibes to your home decor. And let's stop talking about it. Let's start being about it and let's get to creating. Let's start things off with this wood sign that I got from the Dollar Tree and it's an Easter sign, but we're going to switch it up to be a super cute fall sign. And I'm just trying to take that wood piece off the top there. And then I'm going to take my little spatula thing that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to be taking off all of the paper. And surprisingly, it came up pretty well without me having to add like water to it or anything like that. Then I took some Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White and I'm just going to be painting the inside, not the frame, just the inside of the sign. I did make a decal using my Cricut and I'm just going to apply that to the front of the sign. Now you, if you don't have a Cricut, you could use stickers. You could hand letter this on, you could trace it on. There are lots of different ways that you could create this and quite honestly I made this a little bit too large for the sign. I should have I think I should have shrunk it down just a little bit, but I'm just using my paper transfer tape to transfer it on. And I am using, in for this video, I'm using vinyl that I got from, I think, um, Expressions Vinyl maybe? I don't like it. And you're not going to be able to see why I don't like it for a little bit, but I am just painting. I'm using a sponge dauber that I got from Dollar Tree and I am just dobbing up and down, pouncing up and down in an upward motion, some Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin. And for the rest of the words, I was going to do like a multicolored dark brown black situation, but I ended up saying, nope, not going to do that. I just did it in all black, but I, when I'm pulling back the vinyl, it pulled up the paint a little bit. Now, in their defense it is permanent vinyl but this stuff is sticky like it is sticky and then it was causing issues <laughs> when i was trying to get stuff up i didn't show you in the previous clip but it was really hard to get the vinyl off like from in between the letters and stuff like that so anyways I am now going to be painting on a pumpkin and to create a pumpkin there are a lot of different ways you can do it but the way I'm doing it is creating kind of like a little pump uh, football shape and then I'm going to do kind of like C's or parentheses I guess like on either side and I do go back and fill it in but it would could look kind of cute if you just left it with the little white space in between as well. I took a brown paint pen you could use a marker if you don't have a paint pen and I'm adding the little um, stem to the pumpkin and then I'm going to take a green and this is just a marker y'all this is not a paint pen <laughs> I'm just taking a green marker and I'm making like little swirly squiggly lines um, to mimic the vine um, and the leaves of the pumpkin and then I'm going in with some darker brown paint and just kind of giving the pumpkin rind is it the pumpkin curves i don't know i forget what you call that anyway i'm just kind of highlighting those so they stand out more and i'll show you the finished product but first i want to stop and say this video is part of an open playlist it's called the everything fall playlist and it's hosted by myself and my good friend katie over at lady red crafting and our guest host this month is melissa from um merely melissa and I'm going to have a link to their channels below. I sure hope you check it out because these ladies really have a lot of talent and you're going to get a lot of inspiration from them as well as inspiration from the playlist. So don't forget, check the links below. I really do hope y'all will check out that, those links that I have below because there's a lot of great inspiration. Anyways, back now we're on design number two. And again, I'm taking, it's another Easter sign. This is the blue one. These were kind of cute on their own, but I just wanted to make some fall signs. So I'm just trying to, it's, it's a little bit of a struggle bus right now, it looks like, <laughs> but I'm just taking off that rectangle shape in the middle there. And again, I'm taking off the paper and surprisingly, I just was really so surprised at how easy this paper came off because the paper on the other sides, it is a, it's not as easy. And again, going in with that Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White, and I'm just going to be painting the entire inside of 
this um, sign. And with that really sticky vinyl, <laughs> I cut out a, a decal using my Cricut. And I, honestly, if you don't have a Cricut, I, I just wouldn't let that hold me back from creating because you can hand letter, you can trace, you can use stickers, lots of different things that you could do to make a super cute fall sign. But I'm using my Cricut because I have one and I love it. And I just don't really love this vinyl. It's just, it's sticking. And sometimes it's hard to get off that backing as well. So I don't know. I think it's, um, I forget even what kind of vinyl it is. It's, uh, it's a popular one, but I don't remember. Anyways, I'm not centering this. I'm putting it off a little bit to the left because I'm going to be adding um, some decor to it. But I'm using vinyl transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl. That's where I got this one from. But they don't sell it in the 6-inch roll anymore. you got to get it from Amazon. But anyways, I have some left, so I'm using it. And again, I'm going in with two colors. I'm going to try to make it look all like, I don't know, just multicolored or something. I thought it would add interest, but I ended up just really going with the black and doing all of the letters in black, except for the word U that I'm doing in the Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and just pouncing up and down with that sponge dauber. And it gives it an, a pretty nice crisp, but you know what I didn't do? I didn't do um, a base coat first. I should have done that because there was a little bit of bleeding, but not too bad. And so look at, it's like I'm almost going to rip the sign in two trying to get this vinyl off. Oracle Oracle vinyl, I think is what it was. Mm -mm, I'm not buying that again. So I'm really, really struggling. And then I'm taking my little picker tool that I got from the Dollar Tree as well and trying to get, look, at it's all over my fingers, that black ink. I mean, the, the paint. So I'm just carefully trying to get all this stuff. And some of the insides of the letters don't want to come off. It was a mess, y'all. And I've used this before, but I really prefer um, the 143 vinyl that I usually get. I finally got it off. Then I took some brown paint, and you can use whatever color brown you want. You, can, you don't even have to use brown. You can use purple if you want to. You do you. But I'm doing brown, and I'm just painting on some branches, and then I'll be painting on the trunk of the tree as well. Oh, here I am painting on the trunk of the tree. <laughs> And I did get a little too close to the E, and then you can see later, I do kind of clean it up a little bit later and put a little bit more white paint around the E so you can see the E better, but that's how it's looking so far. And I'm just painting on different colors of brown to hopefully make it look like bark. I mean, that's the idea. And then if you'd seen my video um, a week or two ago, I guess a couple weeks back, I had done some little round shape leaves. And I know that's not really a typical fall leaf shape, but that's that's what I'm going with. And I just used orange. I used um, yellow, brown, and burgundy. And I'm just making little circles for the leaves. And then I'll add some little smaller shaped or smaller circles kind of floating down from the top. And because I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> now, this is how they both turned out. I think they look cute. And this is, I have them hung up on my blanket ladder. I need to add some more like leaves or something or like something else to it because it just looks a little plain for me. Maybe I need to add some, I don't know. If you have an idea, comment below and let me know. I wanted to pop in here in the middle of the video to share that I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run that with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY and we'd love it if you joined it. It's a creative community and we try to be supportive of one another, share what we're working on, ask questions, things like that. The link is going to be in the description box below. Now let's get back to crafting. I had this leftover piece of wood and it was like a shelf or something because it had like that laminate material on that one side right there. And um, I'm just going to use the back. And also, I accidentally cut off the ear of the owl. But it's okay. So I'm just taking a bunch of brown, colors of brown, and painting the owl. I'm doing this so that it will have a more dimensional look to it and not just a flat look to it. But it really doesn't matter. You can just do it flat. brown One brown color paint, that's fine too. 
because I end up going over it a bunch of times because I thought, oh, I'm going to do a spotted owl. I'm going to do this other kind of owl. And I just went back to a brown owl. So as you can see here, I'm just painting it on. And of course, this side is that like um, pressed wood side or whatever. And it soaks up the paint really a lot, but it's fine. So as you can see, I want a much darker brown color. And I'm adding in a linen color or khaki color, I guess, and another brown color in the center kind of make the where I'm going to be putting the eyes. And that's just to kind of give me an idea. And I go back over these like I don't know how many times. But anyway, that's where the eyes are going to be. And I'm doing a little base coat of that same kind of khaki tannish color mixed in with some brown to make it a little bit darker because I'm making the wings. And this is just the base coat for the wings. They don't end up looking like this. And I take some yellow and it's not a super bright yellow, although it really doesn't matter. But that's what I'm doing for the background of the eyes because I want the eyes to pop a little bit. And I just always think that eyes of an owl are kind of like that. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just using that sponge dauber that I got from Dollar Tree. And now I'm taking the black and I'm kind of going in and I'm going with a little bit smaller sponge dauber because I want you to be able to see the yellow a little bit. And I'm kind of having to make the circle a little bit bigger. I'm just spinning it around so that it fills up the space that I want it to. And then I am, wait, I'm putting on the nose. I'm painting on the nose with a paint pen. But also, I've already darkened up their wings of these owls. I didn't notice me painting it. Otherwise, I would have said it. But I just darkened it up a little bit with another layer of paint. And I'm taking some, I think this is a terracotta color. Because I felt like the orange paint pen was just a little too orange. I don't know. So I thought this would kind of mute it down just a little bit. And I'm just taking a fine brush and I'm painting on that color. And I also put on like little three little lines for each um, foot, <laughs> bird foot. And then I'm taking on uh, taking some different colors of brown. And I'm trying to just like do little swipes, swipe, swipe, swipe like that to make it look like feathers laying down. And it does kind of give the idea that there's feathers, although I'm just, the whole body's covered with feathers, but I only did the wings like this. But I really like how it was turning out because you could see a little bit of definition and um, depth to their wings that the rest of the body doesn't have. And this is how they turned out. <laughs> I just think that, I think they look really cute. And I think you can see how the wings kind of have a feathery look to them. And I did add the little white highlight in the corner of their eyes just to make it pop a little bit more. Y'all, I almost forgot to film the outro <laughs> to this video because I was doing it and I was about to go edit and then our daughter called. They're in Branson right now with um, some of our grandkids and they were asking about a restaurant we'd gone to. So I had to look that up and then I found it and we're talking about memories that we've had in Branson and the fun we've had. So anyway, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't film the outro. So here I am filming the outro. Basically, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for joining me in my craft space while I craft and create and paint. I really do appreciate the company and I'd appreciate it if you'd leave me a comment and let me know what was your favorite about today's video. What videos would you like to see me make in the future? I mean, I'm always open for inspiration. Oh, and if you know of anybody that does like creative, illustrative, um, junk journaling type stuff. Let me know because I'm 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 wanting to start that. Um, not so much the junk part, but like more like the illustrative watercolor ephemera stuff. Anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment. <laughs> let me know who I can get some inspiration from. But if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok, Instagram. Um, Facebook. My handle is Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye!